Hello, Vinex here, Phobos here. So today we're going to be reviewing Inform Werner. Okay, so uh, it's been a long time since I've done these reviews, and for a good reason, because FIFA last year was bad, and this year doesn't look any better. But um, yeah, we'll get into these reviews again. Um, let me know players that you want me to review. Within reason now, because I'm not... I'm trying to try and trying to get players for you guys to get reviews because I know most people want the high-end players, which unfortunately at the moment I can't afford. But uh, anyway, for Werner, the expectations are he's very quick, good finishing, okay passing at 71, you expect to be a little bit higher. Um, very good dribbling and okay physical. Okay, so Werner has uh, three-star skill moves, which to be honest on this game so far, you'd probably want four. Like, you see, we've all played against Mbappe. We all know how overpowered he is. You need those four-star skill moves. Um, he has a four-star weak foot. 5'11 as well with high mid-work rates. Like, his pace should really get him past defences, let's be honest. That's the main reason why I'd be looking at him. And obviously, his finishing. The um, the only thing that kind of concerned me when you look onto the stats now in a second is the fact that his balance is a little bit low for my liking. For the strikers this year, uh, 76, and his aggression was a little bit low in the strength, but then again, it's not going to go up to the point where I'm going to be happy with it. So today, I just put on an engine chemistry saw just to increase his pace a tiny bit, but again, like it's not going to make much of a difference, is Werner. Um, increases passing to just make it a little bit better because passing this year, as we you know, can be an absolute joke, and obviously increase that balance. Okay, so this is my team. As you may have noticed, it's not very good. <laughs> so. A lot of changes I made at the start of the game. I used three subs, so I sub on Coleman, Hazard, and Porto for Cork, Demari, Gray, and Willian, and it goes into a 4-2-3-1. Okay, so just getting into the clips. Werner is class for just being an absolute pace whore. His finishing is decent. Um, dribbling, as I mentioned, it can be a little bit weird. Now, what I mean is, at times, he has this weird... Trey, I don't know what it is just specific to him where he puts the ball a little bit too far in front of himself for his first touch and then he gets going so that was a little bit annoying um, the other thing that annoyed me was the fact that his weak foot is very a very dodgy four star if it's in the box fine you can deal with it but if it's anything other than within like the first six yards of the goal I wouldn't use I wouldn't use his left it's just not a, it's not a it's not a four star. I wouldn't depend on it to win me games. Um, but apart from that, he was decent. Physical wasn't great, but then again, I wasn't really expecting much from that. However, I enjoyed using him. So just going through his stats um, 9.5 out of 10 for pace. His pace is ridiculous. It's not a 10. I consider Mbappe a 10. That's a 10 for me anyway, so that's the reason why. Um, shooting 8.5 out of 10. The reason why this is not higher, as I said, is down to his left foot. I was expecting it to be a little bit better, given that it was a 4-star, but it just wasn't. Passing 7.5 out of 10. It's a little bit better when the engine is applied. When it's not applied, I'd probably give it a 6.5. It was a little bit annoying. Dribbling 8 out of 10. This is down to, as I mentioned, that little thing where he takes the, the first touch and the ball goes a little too far ahead of him. I don't know if that's just him or if it's the gameplay or what, but it was just annoying, and I know you guys want to know that for your weekend league games. And physical 6.5 out of 10. Now, this did kind of surprise me, given how, you know, I wasn't really expecting much. I was expecting this to be like a 5 out of 10, but it was actually half decent. So, overall, he gets an 8 out of 10 on the weighted average. Now, I personally would give him around the same, maybe an 8.5. Like, it depends on the gameplay for me. What I found was when the gameplay was good, he gets an 8.5. When the gameplay was bad, like it was today in the final day of weekend league, I'd probably give him like a seven and a seven and a half, because in those types of games, you want like a an Mbappe, a Neymar, you know, those sort of players that just are so OP that they get that little bit of of um, of OP bullshit. But he's still good. He's still class. I would highly recommend him to use him, lads. Alright, so anyway, that's me done. Um, I will do a few more reviews. I just have to build up a few coins to do all the actual reviews. Kevin De Bruyne is one that I was thinking of doing it next. It may be even a Bamiyang, but again, I know most people have already used a Bamiyang and already know he's class. But um, just let me know in the comments what you want me to do, and I'll do my best to get it out. Anyway, cheers for watching.